Hey everyone, I'm Vinny with Autel, and today we're going to be setting up our brand new IA900 WA. And everything I'm going to do today is in our unboxing guide, which you can find on the outside of the box. You can go over that to begin with. It's inside this little bag. Once you've gone over that, you want to go ahead and cut open the straps. Once the straps are out of the way, the first thing you want to take off is the roof. You will need a ladder to get up there. And you're going to want to go ahead and spin it a little bit. Put this to the side, but not too far. We're going to use that soon. Once the roof is off, we can take these clips out. And we're going to open the cardboard gonna drop down. All right, there's a small strap here holding down the plastic bag. Once you pull that off, we're gonna move this box. These are our wheel clamps. There's a strap holding this down. that off to the side. Let me go ahead and move these. And in the front here is the TV monitor. We're gonna move this off to the side as well. We're gonna need a 13 millimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. We got four 13 millimeter bolts holding down this wooden frame that goes around the IA900. Once we have those four bolts out, we can take this wooden frame down, slide it forward, move it to the side. We won't need this anymore. Next, we're going to take off these straps and these silver brackets. These are holding down the frame. So we're gonna need our screwdriver. We're gonna take these off. Now that we've gotten all those brackets off, we're gonna get, take the top and we're gonna use this as a ramp to take down our frame. It's got these angled pieces right here. This is gonna go on the floor. Like so. And now we can go ahead and grab the frame and shimmy it off the pallet carefully. First thing we want to do is open up the arms. Uncover the cameras. And we're going to next connect the monitor to extend this arm forward and around. Now we're going to go back to that monitor from before. We're going to pull it out of the styrofoam insert. And at this point, we want to attach the top two bolts so that we can easily hang the monitor on the bracket. And then we're going to use the other two bolts to secure it at the bottom. I'm going to take the monitor, I'm going to go behind the frame. Next, we're gonna connect the cables for the TV. We have the power, USB, and HDMI. Everything is labeled. And next, we're gonna go ahead and take the power cord out. 
And we're going to connect this end to the base of the frame. Lock that down so it doesn't move on us. Once it's plugged in, we're going to press the power switch at the bottom. And now that it's turned on, we can pair this machine with our, with our tablet. So now that I've turned on the machine, I've gotten my tablet, I've turned that on as well. We're going to pair the machine and the tablet together very easily. We're going to go to the settings menu on the tablet. We're going to go to ADOS and aligner settings. And we're going to go to calibration frame connection. Now at this point with the frame being on, you should see the serial number listed here. You're simply going to click on the serial number and it should go ahead and pair to the frame. There we go. Now that it's connected, we should see the screen from the tablet cast to the TV. And now I can operate the tablet from the screen itself. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Next, we're going to check for updates on the camera unit. If there are any available updates, you'll see it here on this screen. And all you got to do is click update and give it a few moments to download the update and install it. After that, the machine will be pretty much ready to go.